Welcome to another episode of How To here on Linus Tech Tips. Today I'll be showing you how to optimize your drive setup if you're rocking a separate SSD and hard drive. Using one of each kind of drive in your rig has become a very popular option for people that want to keep their operating system and their frequently used programs, such as their favorite games, on their quick SSD, and data such as videos, photos, music, and their massive Steam libraries on the slower mechanical hard drive to keep it all safe if something happens to your operating system installation and to keep the cost of storage down. Cooler Master's Mastercase Maker 5 features their freeform modular system allowing you to customize, adjust, and upgrade. Make it yours at the link below. If you're doing an initial Windows installation on a new computer, blank drives should each show up as their own individual entries in the where do you want to install Windows list. Format your drives by clicking new and using the default settings for each drive. Then select your SSD as the Windows installation location by clicking it so that it is highlighted, then clicking next. If you're not sure which is which, you should easily be able to identify your SSD by its capacity. If you've already got your computer up and running and you're installing a fresh hard drive, it may not show up automatically in File Explorer. If this is the case, do not worry. Just right click on the Start button and select Disk Management. From there, you'll be able to see your new drive as unallocated space. Simply right click and choose New Simple Volume. Use the default settings. Pick whatever drive letter and label you would like so you can identify it easily. Then click Finish and your new drive should be ready to go in a few seconds. Now we're going to configure Windows to send data automatically to your hard drive so that your SSD won't fill up with stuff that you don't want on it. When you open a File Explorer window, those options on the left side for documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos map to specific locations on your computer. So what you'll want to do is create new folders for your data on your new drive, then right click on the appropriate shortcut in File Explorer for the folder that you just created for one of those previously mentioned directories. Then just enter the directory you created on your new drive where you want your files to go. This will change the default save directory in various programs to the new folders on your data drive. But what about games? If you're using Steam, as many people are these days, many games will store their save files in a subfolder in your documents directory, in which case you won't have to do anything else outside of the previously mentioned steps. But some use random save locations. If you just want to ensure everything gets saved to your data drive to keep everything game related separated from your operating system, it's not a bad idea to just install Steam itself and your games to your data drive, even though most games these days use cloud saves anyways. You could also install individual games to more specific locations by going to Steam, clicking on Downloads, then Steam Library Folders. From there, you can create a folder on whatever drive you'd like. And then you can choose to install any future games you would download to that location. Of course, if you want to keep certain games on your SSD for fast load times, you can still do this by simply selecting a folder on your SSD during installation and vice versa. Follow these steps and you'll be able to enjoy a more robust system for managing your files and programs to keep things both safe and efficient by leveraging both of your drives. Tesoro is giving away two Gram Spectrum mechanical RGB keyboards and they will be given away through the forum. It features a low profile agile mechanical switch. All the keys are fully programmable and it features N key and six key rollover options. There's 16.8 million colors per key customizable lighting. That's like everyone with RGBs these days is like 16.8 million colors. Anyways, there's also a detachable braided cable, which is nice, and double injection low profile keycaps. It's a 104 key keyboard. Enter through the link below for a chance to win. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode of How To in the comments down below, or hit me up on Twitter at Luke underscore LAFR. While you're here, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you're like, I know this stuff already, this is stupid, and you're clogging the Linus Tech Tips video feed with stuff that I already know. That's fair. Click the subscribe button if you want. Uh, buy one of our t-shirts, they're in the video description down below. Use our Amazon affiliate code, or jump on the forum and become a member. Members on the forum are great, and they can even become contributors, which is like nice, because it helps us, but you don't have to, that's cool, whatever. Click up here if you want to see our last video. It's a how-to basic, so if you've built like a computer before, you probably don't need to watch it, but it's like a how to install a graphics card video. 